now to the big unveiling from Ford, the automaker pulling back the curtain on the newly restored book depository. It marks the completion of the first phase of Ford's effort to revitalize Michigan Central Station. The depository will be home to New Lab Detroit. Ford calls it a high-tech startup ecosystem. It is providing a space for entrepreneurs to establish innovative companies. The book depository is located right next to Michigan Central Station in Corktown. 7 Action News anchor Mike Duffy is in the middle of all the excitement today. Mike, you had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with Executive Chairman Bill Ford Jr. And boy, this unveiling is just one step toward the big picture for Ford and its future there in the city of Detroit. Right, Mike? That's right, Carolyn. And as you can probably hear, the Motor City is very much alive tonight. We told you about the big news earlier at GM, and this evening it's all about Michigan Central and the beautiful restoration of the Book Depository, now home of the new lab. And really, as I look around, I can see the future. It's bringing together the best and the brightest companies from around the world working together, all focusing on reimagining what mobility means for industry and society. All sorts of new autonomous vehicles on display here. And this, of course, just the beginning. I spoke with Executive Chair Bill Ford to ask him about the realization of his vision. You look around at all of this, specifically focused on Michigan Central. How does this embody the past, present, and future of Detroit? Well, look, you know, five years ago when I announced that we were doing this whole project, a lot of people, I think, were very skeptical. Like, you know, really, why would you do this? Um, and to me, uh, it's much more than just a restoration of a beautiful building in Michigan Central and a beautiful Albert Kahn building that we're in here. But it's all about creating the future. And so we're gonna use this building, that building, our other uh, members of Corktown that we already have, and we're gonna actually build the future mobility right here in Detroit. And how about the areas surrounding this? How do you reimagine what it's gonna be? It's already happening. I mean, Corktown is already a vibrant area in Southwest, it's starting to get vibrancy as well. And so um, I think once this building is fully up and running and once Michigan Central is fully up and running, I think the effect of the neighborhoods and on the local businesses is gonna be fantastic. Speaking of this building, how would you describe New Lab to Detroiters? So New Lab is from Brooklyn, New York. They, uh, they, they're in the old Navy Yard there and they're a company that brings entrepreneurs together and kind of creates a maker space, if you will. There's nobody like them in the country. They've been wildly successful in Brooklyn. Every city has been trying to get them to come and they chose one city and it was us. They thought the vision here was so compelling that they said, we want to be part of it. And they've been amazing. We, look, we already have 33 companies in here today, some from Detroit, many from out of town, bringing the best and the brightest together to work on the future. And I, you know, to me, that's exactly what this building should do, and it's really exciting. And as you heard there, the vision is bigger than just the next couple of years. Some great news for the people who live nearby and across the city. This is the Motor City, maybe soon the EV city, the mobility city. But overall, Carolyn, we're looking to the future here in Detroit tonight. And it certainly looks great. And what a get to talk one on one with Bill Ford Jr. Great job, Mike. All right, it was a big day for Detroit automakers. You can watch more of Mike's interview with Bill Ford Jr. and his interview with General Motors President Mark Royce right now on our website at WXYZ.com. Exciting stuff. All right, now.